Hey, welcome back to Barley and Hops. We're glad to have you again. Today's going to be a real quick one. Uh, we wanted to cover measuring devices and scales to try to avoid any confusion because there can be some confusion. Uh, we're going to cover, of course, the hydrometer, and this is a triple scale hydrometer, and some of them have multiple scales on them, but they routinely come with a specific gravity scale, a balling scale, and then a percentage. Uh, and we'll get to that in just a second. Then, we'll, of course, we've got the alcoholometer, which is another hydrometer used to measure alcohol. And then last but not least, we have a refractometer. And a refractometer does exactly the same thing as the hydrometer, uh, but it just does it a little bit differently, and we'll get to that. Uh, but what I wanted to explain first is I want to explain the differences in the scales because you'll, you'll hear these terms going around. There's a balling scale, there's a bricks scale, there's a Plato scale, and those are all degrees. And then there's a specific gravity scale, which we're all accustomed to. Here it is in short. The balling scale was the original scale developed back in the early 1800s. And what it does, it's a degree, degree, and a degree. And what it does is it starts its measurement with water with nothing in it at zero. Well, that's interesting. Uh, because we know that a specific gravity, if you drop a, a hydrometer in a specific, with a specific gravity hydrometer, it starts, water starts at 1.000. So it's just the starting, it's a data point. It's where it starts. Now, interestingly enough, bricks just refine that a little bit. Its starting point is zero. And then Plato came along in the 1900s, and they did some more calculations, and they figured, well, the conversions between the degrees into specific gravity at the fifth and sixth decimal place, we only go three. But at the fifth and sixth decimal place is a little bit off, so they refined it and corrected it. Uh, but it still starts at zero. It's interesting enough, so all three of these are zero scales, and this is specific gravity starts at one. Now, you'll find, normally, you'll find that the brick scale is used primarily by wineries, and it's also used by the European Union. Um, a lot of British brewers uh, will use the brick scale, uh, and sometimes they'll also use a little bit of the Plato scale, so don't let them get you confused. We normally use the specific gravity scale. Now, all of these are going to give you the same answer because what is very, very interesting and important to know is that on the side of your hydrometer, there's always the percent scale. And that percent scale tells you what the potential alcohol by volume is from the beginning. And then you subtract that from, or you subtract the ending specific gravity on that same scale. And it tells you what percent potential alcohol you'll have. Or you can do the longhand with original gravity minus final gravity times 131.25, which will give you the same answer. So I wanted to share that with you just to make sure that you understood that. Now, if you ever get stuck in a position where you've got a plate, let's say you got a, a bricks, uh, a bricks reading, and they say, oh, well, my bricks reading is 12 degrees. Well, if you take 12 degrees and you multiply that by four, That is actually a specific gravity of 1.048. So that's, I mean, that's the conversion. It's only by four. Uh, or if someone says, hey, my specific gravity is 1.048, but I need to know what it is in Plato, or I need to know what it is in bricks or balling. Well, it's divide that by four, and that equals 12. So it would be 12 degrees. Now, that should make sense. I mean, that's pretty simple and straightforward, and that's the way that works. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of this. We have two beakers here, both of them filled with, uh, with distilled water at about the same level. And I wanted to show you something. Now, this is the hydrometer, and I had this question all the time about the hydrometer and the alcoholometer, or what it measures and why it doesn't measure the same thing. Watch this. When you drop the hydrometer in, it'll float, and you'll notice that it floats at 1.000. Remember, we've already said that. The specific gravity starts at 1.000. Now, when you drop in an alcoholometer, of course, it's weighted differently and it's scaled differently. This is measuring water with nothing in it. And as we add fermentable sugars and we thicken it, leaving it with some, there's some potential alcohol, should the yeast eat all of that, well, this will start to rise and it'll float higher and higher and higher which gives us our specific gravity to start with, or we can read on our percent potential alcohol scale the same thing. 
Now on the opposite end, we know that alcohol is lighter than water. Water is heavier than alcohol. If we drop this in here, you'll notice that it floats way, way at the very top, which is zero. So your alcoholometer is going to measure your water at zero. If you had your hydrometer measuring a wart or mash, um, whatever it is you're getting ready to prepare, and it was reading 1.020 as an example, your alcoholometer would float way up here, way off the scale. But as it becomes alcohol and gets lighter than alcohol, this will float lower, lower, and lower, and lower, and will tell you what the proof is. Now, so remember, and you've got proof on one side, and you've got percentage on the other side. So uh, an 80% alcohol is 160 proof. It's just a finer, finer measurement. So that should answer that, and that's what those two do. So you can see how that, how that happens. Now, when it comes to the refractometer, and what you see on screen right now is a picture of what it looks like inside. But there's already a measurement there. So you'll look at that. Uh, so, but that's what you can see. You'll see the brick scale on the left. You'll see the specific gravity scale on the right-hand side. But what's you, unique about these is it has the, 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 uh, the eyepiece, the diopter, is adjustable. So if you wear glasses, you can adjust it. With, you don't have to use your glasses. Uh, it's got a small set screw that you normally set when you first get it. You, can see, you, know, you calibrate it to zero. This is an auto-tuning um, refractometer. So as opposed to the hydrometer that's calibrated 60 degrees and the same thing with the alcoholometer, this is calibrated first at 20 degrees Celsius, but then it auto-corrects based on temperature. So, but the only thing you need for this one is three drops of water, and then you close the shutter at the top, and then point it to the light, and then you read inside. And then this one is actually reading, on the brick scale it reads zero, and on a specific gravity scale, and I don't need glasses for this one, on a specific gravity scale it reads 1.000, which it should. Um, so these are really, really unique. They're a little bit more expensive because they're, they're more precise. But, uh, I mean, they do the exact same thing as a hydrometer. So if you've got a hydrometer and you're good at using it, stick with it. If you want to move up a little bit and get you something like this, it makes it look nice when you're doing it with someone else. You can, you can show off your brewing acumen, so to speak. So this is what I'll offer you today. Um, that covers the refractometer, uh, covers the alcoholometer, covers the hydrometer, and all of our scales that we use. I hope it simplifies it a little bit for you. Happy distilling.